What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we have a pretty interesting video. This is sponsored by Monico and they of course went ahead and sent us three different interesting products that they have on their Amazon page. One of which is an HDMI cable, not the most interesting out there, but don't worry I'm going to go from kind of interesting to really interesting because at the end we're going to check out some of the best headphones that I found in the price range. So in the middle we have a Bluetooth pair of headphones and finally we have an in-ear pair of normal headphones. So we're going to do it all, let's start off with the HDMI cable. It is your traditional HDMI splitter right here. So basically there are three ports on one end and you can actually select which port you want to send the main HDMI output to. So say you plug this into your computer and you have a projector plugged into HDMI 1, you have a monitor plugged into HDMI 2, and you have maybe a device plugged into HDMI 3. Well you can pick and choose depending on where you want to send the signal, which is really awesome, especially with this price point because splitters that are powered can get pretty expensive. I've known that for a while now because I do work with HDMI cables pretty often. The front of course is covered in gold so that basically means that it's not going to rust after a while which basically makes it really really durable. The cable itself is made out of zinc alloy so that's pretty awesome as well and finally there's a TPE material rated nylon for the cable uh, outside itself which is actually really awesome because you know you can bend and twist and maybe shove this into a backpack or maybe place this behind a TV and even after maybe like five or six or seven years you'll still be able to use this without any problem. Now one of the coolest things about this is that it has two different options when it comes to the output. So of course there's an auto switch and a manual switch. Basically if one particular uh, output has power maybe like HDMI 1 it will automatically send the output to that but if it realizes that there are two different devices or three different devices powered at one particular minute, it will ask you to choose. So you can actually press that cool little button that says select and you'll be able to choose what works and what you want the signal to go to at a particular moment. So of course, as I mentioned, it has gold plated connectors, but it also looks kind of cool to whip out because say you're working on an office project or say you're about to give a presentation with a projector, this thing looks premium. It looks like something that belongs on maybe like a high quality projector. It's not something that was built like, you know, oh, here's a spitter, why not? You're, no one's ever gonna see it. No, they actually built this with style in mind, which is one of the coolest things that I like about Monico's projects um, that we're gonna be looking at today. So speaking of which, we're gonna take a look at their next product and this is of course their Bluetooth headphones. Now taking a look at these, as you guys can see, Monica really does like to put style ahead of everything. These have five stars on Amazon right now and they are one of the best Bluetooth headphones I have seen for the price point. They're waterproof, they're noise canceling, they're sweat proof, and of course they work with both iPhone and Android. They feature Bluetooth 4.1 technology and of course they have a pretty secure fit so basically they're perfect for running because they loop over your ear. Now they are wired, so of course they're not 100% wireless. They have this cool little wire that usually just dangles around uh, around your neck, but it's not distracting. It's a very, very thin wire, and most of the music movement basically does work when it comes to wireless instead of the wired setup. So you're pretty much set to go. You can charge these directly from the device itself. Now, of course, sound quality wise, it actually has a 14.8 millimeter speaker, which means it delivers not just quality sound, but at a really loud volume. And you know, when we go for runs, we tend to have cars pass by, we tend to have like dogs barking, park people talking, and you're like, okay, I just want to focus on my run, and I just want to be able to block the world out right now. Well, these get the job done. So if that's what you're looking for, you're pretty much set to go. Now, say someone calls you and you're like, okay, this person's important, enough music for just a few minutes. So of course, there is a way to answer the call directly from the headphones. So no, you don't need to disconnect. You're pretty much fine when it comes to that. Finally, setup is relatively simple. You have the USB port right there to charge it up. After you charge it up, flip a switch and it will turn itself on, automatically connect to your phone itself. And just like that, you should be able to play music without anything to worry about. Overall, I'd say, as I mentioned, it's the first thing I mentioned, it is pretty stylish, it looks pretty cool, and it's one of the nicer looking uh, looped headphones that I've seen in my day. Um, one of the nicest ones I've seen is probably Beats. As you guys know and this one is kind of cool as well but it comes in at a much lower price with basically the same audio quality now the last thing i'm going to talk about is of course what audio quality and the reason i'm mentioning this now is although it gets loud although it has a big speaker these are running headphones they're not the highest quality headphones in the world yeah, it, they're full with maybe bass there's a i wouldn't say there's clear troubles the troubles are there but at the same time it does seem like bass seems to kind of 
merge all the audio together and crumple it up, especially when you put the volume all the way to the top. Now, as complicated as that sounds, the simple explanation is that it all depends on what type of music you like listening to. So if you're listening to maybe EDM type of music, you're perfectly fine. But if you are listening to maybe like classical music or you're listening to an audiobook a book or a YouTube video, you're going to be like, OK, these headphones sound like they should always be playing music. And maybe they're not the best headphones to use on an airplane or, of course, in the library or anything of that sort. So keep that in mind. Now, with that said, these headphones are mostly made for the athletic types. That's why they have the cool little loop. So when you go ahead and buy this, remember that and keep that in mind. The next pair of headphones we're going to take a look at are more for traditional use. Now these are of course their in-ear headphones. These are corded and they look like traditional headphones that work with iPhone and Android. Now here's the weird thing, they come in at around $17.99 so you're like, oh okay, maybe these aren't the best headphones out there, they seem kind of cheap, but that's what blew me away. I put these into my ear and they were some of the best headphones I've tried out to date. They have the j just like the perfect amount of bass, the perfect amount of treble, the perfect amount of clarity, and of course a pretty crystal clear sound which they mention. I'm not exactly sure how they did it, but these headphones also have a pretty awesome sense of style. They work with pretty much everything. Um, the only thing I can complain about is maybe like the lack of a volume rocker. It only has a uh, play and pause button. But of course, the way that they explain things is that inside of these headphones, there's a two wire design instead of the single wire design, which basically means that there is no noise interference. There's also a multi-chip tension, stronger and more tough. So basically, these it means that the audio quality will stay pretty much the same over time, even if you mess up the wire or maybe get things twisted. And of course, the wire itself should perfectly be fine as well. Inside, you'll find a gold plated treatment as well. And of course, there is the speaker design, which makes it really, really portable, durable. But at the same time, as I mentioned, the audio quality is really good. And if you don't believe me, go ahead onto Amazon and take a look at their reviews. 100 people gave this a 4.5 stars. So for $17.99, I was like, wait a minute. These sound like they're 150 plus dollar headphones and of course they have just enough feature to the point where they can be noise proof so you don't have to worry about maybe outside noise assuming you choose the right ear tip it does come with three pairs of ear tips and finally they also have a wide range of audio it has a 3.5 millimeter high fidelity gold plated plug but all those specifications aside Take my word for it, these are really, really awesome sounding for the price point. So go ahead and check these out on Amazon if you are in the market for headphones. And if you're looking for a pair of headphones that, you know, you can throw around, ch chug in your backpack, or maybe like just um, rummage into your pocket and not really care about, but also really, really love, then these are probably the way to go. Overall, guys, my favorite was, of course, the last headphone we took a look at. But, of course, the Bluetooth headphones were really nice as well. And finally, the HDMI splitter is really, really useful. But I don't know how many of you guys are in the market for that currently. But if you guys are ever in need of one of those, then keep it in mind because that's one of the best ones I've tested to date. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and check out their products if you're looking for something with looks but also on a budget at the same time and want the best bang for the buck. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.